Welcome back to PRP everybody. Today we're going to be talking a little bit more about the Shapeshift, um, the different mods that they come with by Alien Gear. Not too long ago I made a review about the 4.0 IWB holster. This is the holster I've been wearing every day for some time now. Made a review about this and this is what I said. Alien Gear, if you want to send me the rest of it, I'll review it. No problem. Shortly after, I got an email from a rep at Alien Gear who said he's seen the video and was going to take me up on my offer and send me a couple more of the mods to show you guys. So I'm excited to have that opportunity to do it. Um, they did send me these products, but they, they told me that I had free will to say whatever I wanted about them. They were open to the criticism or the praise that I would give the product, which I think is kind of cool. They said, uh, all we need from you is to say that we sent you the products and to put a link to them in the description, obviously, which I appreciate. I, I appreciate the opportunity to share something with you guys that's my own opinion. So I won't talk too much about the IWB today. If you want, you can skip to the end. I'll put a link to that video. I've already reviewed it, but I do need this shell right here because this is kind of the main guts to all of these shape shifts that they've, they've made, all these different mods that they've made. And so we'll, we'll dive right into it. The first one I want to share with you guys is the appendix holster right here. Uh, one thing I want to say right off the bat is that the quality that this holster came with, which I love by the way, the same quality seems to hold true for the rest of the holsters. They all are made of the same nice breathable neoprene. Um, the edges are all seamed so it's not going to fray on you. And they also have their, their warranty which is one of the best I've ever seen. But as far as appendix holsters go, I think this is probably a good one. I simply don't like appendix holsters. I have worn each of these for a few days to test them out, but I just don't like appendix holsters. This one though comes with two different belt loop attachments right there. I don't know if I can show it to you, but one of them sticks out a little bit further uh, from your from your backing here from your neoprene in case you have a little bit fatter gun than what I've got So I've got a P 938 a Sig Sauer P 938 and So I have the clip that is snug up right against it right here It fits in there pretty perfect this one spaces out just a little if you have a wider gun So I don't really need that one But if I ever was gonna uh, switch I could use it I guess the way these all work is you have these little twisties that lock this um, shell in place. So you can take that off and then you slide off this and your shell pops right off. It's got these two little slits right in there and they slide right into there. So just like on the IWB, everything else is only held by one side. So there's a steel plate right here same as in these, I believe, and it's only held by one side. And you would think it wouldn't be enough support, but it is. It's plenty of support and it's very, very strong. So you take this, you have to undo this little lock, twisty right there, slide this off, put that on, and then this slides over the top. Okay? Just like that. So you can then put your gun in here and slide that right into the front um, near your front right pocket and again it, it's it's nice but when you sit down it's not very comfortable at least not for me it seems and I could be wrong I could be wrong but it seems like appendixes are uh, appendix holsters are geared more towards women and uh, I don't know why that is but yeah it's just not not extremely comfortable for me it's not that I think they did a bad job making it and if you like appendix holsters. This is, this is probably great for you. I'm just not personally a fan. The next one I want to show you is their OWB holster. This one I'm a huge fan of. Okay. It, I think it's, is that the same? I think it's about the same size and shape. Not exactly, but close. Very close. I think the OWB is just slightly wider than the appendix is. This one is, is kind of unique though. When I got it, I actually didn't think I had all the parts because you need a, you need to take apart, where to go, where to go? You need to take apart the rear trigger guard and attach it to this piece in order to have this function. Um, and so I've got to throw out credit to them because I, I didn't like that I was going to have to take this apart each time. 
Uh, so I, I messaged them, I sent them an email and I said, hey, I would like to just buy a separate back trigger guard to put on my OWB holster because I don't want to have to take it off this every time. They just sent it to me. <laughs> they, I don't know if, they just sent it to me. They sent it in the mail and they said, it's all taken care of, here's your invoice and the, the charge was zero. So that was impressive. So I actually have this on here all the time, but I don't think that's how they come. Alien Gear can correct me if I'm wrong. But normally on this one, you would have to take this lock off, slide this rear trigger guard off, and then it, it has this little nut right there and bolt. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? It's got this little tiny bolt there that sits in there and screws tight to this nut. And, uh, that, you have to do that every time if you ever want to use this OWB holster, and I didn't, I didn't want to do that. That seemed like a big um, time killer and would make me probably not wear this one as much as I would want to if I had to do that every time. So they sent me a separate one. Um, maybe they'll send you one, maybe they won't. I'm not going to speak for them, but if uh, you want to make it a little easier, you could just ask them to purchase this particular piece, and I think it makes things simpler. When you put the shell onto the OWB, getting this particular locking twist off is a pain. I mean, it's like you can't get your fingers in there, so you almost have to, I don't know, sometimes I have to find something else to push it to get it open. It's, it's kind of hard. It's usually not this hard. I'm struggling pretty bad. Right. There we go. Getting that one off is not, not easy because there's just not very much space in there to get your fingers to twist. Same as the rest of them. This just slides off and uh, you put this one on just like that. Oh, I got to take that trigger guard off. Slides on like that and then this slides over the top of it. Then, and I probably should have done this first if I'm being honest, but your, your uh, trigger guard right there with the other belt loop attachment just slides on and it locks as well. See that? So it's not attached on this side at all. Okay, that can bend freely. Wearing this, I did notice this slightly overhangs. Can you see that? Which made it somewhat difficult to get my belt in there. It just was tight. But I loved, I loved how solid this was on my side. It, it stayed with me. Um, it bent and kind of contoured with my body because this bent a little bit in and out. And I was a big fan. I feel like if you were open carrying or just out camping or doing something like that, this is solid. Um, really like it. One that I would probably wear the most next to the IWB holster. Uh, but this one probably takes a little bit of assembling as well. So you have to take that into account. The last one I'm going to talk to you guys about is the ankle holster. And to be honest, this was the holster I was most excited to get and review. And I, I'll admit it's kind of different. It's not exactly what I expected. I know that they recently came out with this and uh, so they're probably gonna do some tweaks to it in the future, but it's, it's a little different. It's got a lot more pieces to it than I thought it was going to have. Um, and it's big, it's got a lot of material as well. When putting the ankle holster on, you first have to slip this over your heel and strap it over the front of your shin. This then on the side has a little pocket that you can slide this plastic piece down into. It's stitched at the bottom really well so you don't have to worry about that breaking through but I will say as I walked around with it um, all day it would slowly put pressure and a divot in the shoe that I was wearing at the bottom. This is to keep the gun upright and stable so that your gun isn't flopping around or sliding down. It always stays at the height that you originally set it. One thing to show you is wearing this with tennis shoes, you could move it a lot lower. If you're wearing boots, you can move this higher so the gun sits a little higher up on your ankle. You can't wear 
any boots that are cowboy boots or things like that, just regular boots, that's what I'm talking about here. So you can wear shoes that have slight high tops to them. This is, this is the problems that I have with this particular holster. One, there's a lot of material. I noticed while wearing this, my ankle got really warm. Uh, other holsters I've worn, even the IWB, don't really notice it, almost forget about it. While wearing this one, I noticed it all day long. Whether I was sitting, standing, walking, running, I always knew that this was there. And it was, it was warm by the end of the day. I could always feel the heat radiating from this holster. And it's because there is a lot of material right there. Most of this, or going around your ankle, has two layers of this neoprene. And the neoprene's thick. You know, it's thick, durable stuff. You can see the thickness right there that that protrudes. And these are regular pants that I wear every day and uh, I don't feel like they're tight or form fitting. They're just regular jeans. And most of the time I could see this gun. If I had it moved all the way to the bottom, it was less noticeable. But I even noticed while wearing it out and about to work, people giving me glances at my ankle, which is not a normal place that people look. They obviously noticed that something was kind of off right there. So I think you would have to have somewhat baggy pants to be wearing this holster and people not notice. Because I wear pretty normal jeans and I think most people noticed. With that said, I just want to thank Alien Gear for supplying this stuff for me to review. I appreciate you guys most of all for being here. Uh, without you guys I couldn't couldn't make videos like this and that's, that's what it's all about is, is you guys. So I appreciate you being here and we'll see you on the next episode.